So a few days ago, I bought a couple of uh, clock kits, and uh, a couple of days ago, I built this one and did a video on it. If you haven't seen it, feel free to go back and watch that one. And with that one, I actually did a whole build video. For this one, I think I'll do things a little bit differently because I already made it. And um, so instead of like making you watch half an hour of me putting this thing together, I'll just make you watch, I don't know, five or ten minutes of me talking about how it works. Uh, first off, the uh, instructions are pretty clear and straightforward. Very nicely drawn. And um, they give you exact measurements or links of all the shafts needed. Nothing difficult or hard about it. Like I said, it took me about 35 minutes to build. And that was, you know, not rushing anything. So if we take a look at the clock itself, it's got a weight. I'm supposed to put coins in it. Um, I just put washers in there. And the weight goes around the pulley, then through another pulley, and then it goes around section down here and that's going to drive the gear that spins the shaft with the with the flying pendulum on it here we have the I guess you call it the minute hand uh, I think the instructions say that this takes one minute to go all the way around this one takes 30 minutes to go all the way around so what you do is uh, you wind it right here so you hold that from turning and then you just crank this to wind it. And as you're winding it, that lifts the weight. It lifts the basket with the weight in it. And then let it go. What I would like to do, I think, is paint the dials because the dials are black and all the gears are black, so they kind of disappear a little bit. I think I'd like to paint the dials maybe white. Um, maybe paint those faces. I don't know. Um, and with the last one that I did, the other clock I did a few days ago, I said I would like to remake all the parts out of wood and brass. This would actually be easier to do that with. So I think it would be really nice if this whole base here was... I don't know, oak or something. And uh, all this lattice work here was brass or aluminum. And all the gears would be brass. And maybe those dials would be wood. And um, maybe some other pearl hands. I don't know, I'm just making stuff up at this point. So I think this would be really nice remade out of wood and metal. And it would be easier than the other one. I'll wind this back up and get another view of it here. I've noticed it's not very consistent. Sometimes it wraps around each one a couple of times, other times it does that. So that side works pretty well. The other side, I don't know, kind of glitchy. Maybe if I turn that a little bit. They talk about adjusting the clock and the knob right there, right there, if you turn that knob, that will make the string longer or shorter for the uh, pendulum. And so that will increase or decrease the time. But uh, it's not very consistent, but it is kind of cool. I like it. It's a fun little project. Uh, this would be a great project to do with your pre-teenage kid. Um, you know, do it while they think you and stuff like this is still cool. I did show it to my 13-year-old son, and he did admit it was cool, but uh, he really didn't have any desire to uh, build it with me because, you know, it's not Lego, but whatever. At least he said it was cool. He was probably just humoring me, maybe. But um, anyways, I just wanted to show you this. I thought it was a cool little clock, fun little project. It's only 24 bucks, but um, I'm going to leave it there. Time's up.
I'm done. So as always, thanks for watching.